Elizabeth Colbert, a lot of people think, read your articles, okay, I get it, what can I do? So what is the significance of personal individual action? What can we do that matters? As an individual? Well, I, I think unfortunately, I mean, there are things you could do that would make a difference to your own carbon footprint, but I, I think I, that, you know, looking at the very significant numbers, you know, Americans are responsible for, you know, many tons of emissions per year, and when you look at what it would take to really take your emissions down to, say, the, you know, the average level of what someone in, in India is emitting, it, it, it's... it's it would take it would take you know cutting off your power lines basically you'd have to like really live you know off the grid and very 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 differently from the way most of us live today um so you know the things that that make a big difference are you know not driving and not flying and uh and and those are those are serious you know commitments for many Americans but they would make a difference to our carbon footprint not heating your house not air conditioning your house i mean so there's a lot of you know things to do, but but most of us, you know, to be frank, are not are not willing to do them. Um, and I include myself. You know, here I am in California, and I live in Massachusetts. Um, <laughs> and you know, I flew here. So uh, I think that you know, when people ask me what can I do, I my answer is 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 always you know you can do the things, and you should do. Everyone should be trying simply for you know ethical reasons to reduce their own carbon footprint, but the things that are going to make a difference are so huge, they're obviously political, uh, and it means getting involved.